we always look for big picture descriptions of what this means. Cold War comes to mind. You lived in Moscow. You've covered this for years. Give us a sense about whether we are on the breach of yet another Cold War type standoff. It sure sounds like it and yeah. feels like it because the rhetoric has ratcheted up. Yeah. I mean, the State Department put out a statement rebutting a lot of the Russian claims that was just scathing. It said in one case that this is the most imaginative Russian fiction since Dostoevsky. Yeah. Well, that's, that's not what you do to a country that you're seeing as a great partner right now. But, okay, if you want to look on the bright side, uh, this, look, the, the U.S.-Russian relationship has been falling apart for some time. The Russians haven't been helpful on Syria for six months or more. The reset is really no more than a sad memory right now. But people in the administration will say on chemical weapons in Syria, the Russians are still cooperating. On Iran, uh, there's no sign that the Russians are bolting. And, and in Putin's last statement, which was very tough, a very tough summary of his last conversation with President Obama, there was this funny little note at the end saying, but I hope this doesn't mess up our bilateral relations. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> what about Snowden, though? Well, yeah, Edward see, Snowden, right. Throw Edward, Snowden into that. He's mix. sitting there in Moscow. Right. Uh, President Obama canceled his meeting with Putin last, Moscow, uh, last uh, fall, even before this is happening. And that was the first time in a half a century that an American president had done that. So you're right, this has already been a really rocky time.